this is Uncle Momo's music reaction channel where I provide my views on talented artists from around the world. And this time we are going over to Indonesia and we're going to, I just about slipped, did you hear that? Uh, uh, Indonesia and we are checking out Vanny Vabliona. Now, she has uploaded a later song about a couple of days, but I'm checking that. I'm going back for a moment before I actually react to that particular song. There's something that um, took my eye. She done a co cover of a Beyonce Halo. Now, I've always said that her voice reminds me of a Celine Dion kind of favour. So when she, in, in terms of she does that Celine Dion cover, perfect. It's just like, what? And that's what was striking about her. But I want to hear this one because there was one comment that stri that striked me. She said, the comment was, um, question mark, better than Beyonce. I was like, right, okay, I've got to listen to this. Now, if it's going to be a song cover of Melody, My Mel Melody, Structure by Structure, then, you know, no. But what I do like from an artist, if they, when they take a song from another artist and they construct it into their own way. So, yes, I understand. If, if she follows the regime to about, say, halfway through it, and then she makes her power own, the other half puts her own, her own footsteps onto it, foot stamp on it, foot mark onto it, then I'm happy and punch. But I've got this thing about artists, I mean, or artists or artists, when they're singing a cover song, singing it word for, obviously you've got to sing word for word, but melody structure by melody structure and texture by texture without putting any kind of their foot mark onto it. You know, it's like any, I'm not saying anybody can do it, but anybody with a great voice can follow that person's, what's name, um, that person's song. But I think what makes amazing artists is when you interpret the words and those feelings into your own constructions and you let it go. You know, and that's the like the magical part of that particular a, a singular artist. For me, for me, for me, don't shoot me, don't shoot me. But, you know, that's what, how I feel. So I'm hoping Vanny will, you know, this is an amazing song, but I hope Vanny... There is some, I hope I can identify Vanny within this song and not have this total Beyonce kind of feeling. That's what I'm saying. So, and I won't know that until I press the play button. So without further ado, you know what we're here for. Great vocabs and a damn good video audio music. Can you dig it? Is this a diva song, or can anybody and anybody sing that with a great voice? Remember those words I feel And maybe they were tumbling down They didn't even put up a fire They didn't even make a sound I didn't know you can go that deep Unless of it right there, I was expecting either Beyonce or Celine Dion. What I wasn't expecting was Vanny. I didn't even put that into perspective. I really didn't. And she slapped me in my face. And she just made every kind of comment that I said before of like, what are you talking about? You know, she's given me Vanny all the way. There's not one part that I can say Beyonce and there's not one part that I can say to Celine Dion. All I'm seeing is pure Vanny. This is her. And I don't think that I have recognised it as much as I have done in, within this song. From the riffs, from her texture, from her um, emotional, the, uh, pouring from her facial expressions. The underseen pure Vanny. Even with the riffs and the sound, it's, it's lovely. Um, I'm not saying that she hasn't done this, um, Sean herself. It's just that when somebody sounds 
for so familiar with a legendary artist, it's very hard to take that out and separate that legendary artist with the actual artist that you're looking at. And there's so many artists uh, that sound like legendary artists and, you know, they get popular by that. They, that's, I mean, you get picked and drawn in. Oh, my gosh, you sound like, you know, French Sinatra. Oh, my gosh, you sound like, you know, and they, they build a career on it. And I don't think Vanny has built a career on it, but she's got 2.1 million. So I don't know how much is, from the Western point of view, it must, it must have been like, oh, my gosh. Um, but from an Indonesian point of view, it's like something that... You're representing something on a different kind of dimension, you know. They see much more than just this other figment, uh, artist figment that's over the Western side. And I think I was caught in that in somewhat when I reacted to my first two, three reactions of Vanny. I feel, I believe that I was caught. And like I said, it was very, very hard to pull back and see an artist for what they are rather than sticking so many kind of accolades of, other, uh, of legendary artists on, on their back so to speak. I just had to take those things out. And this song is a perfect song to see her for her. That's what I'm trying to say. I, I, that was long-winded, wasn't it? Apologies for that. I'm going to go back just a little bit to about say here. She sounds a little bit me. So many guys sing this song as well, but in a much deeper. No, 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 no. Can't expect them to go that high. <laughs> Unless your name's Gabriel Mike. <laughs> what if he has some that song? So that was a Beyonce cover of Halo by Vanny Vabiona. I hope I'm saying that. What can I tell you that I haven't already said about the woman? Nothing. <laughs> it's as simple as I love the song. Like I said to you before, this is a song that I identify her for her without me saying she sounds like this or she sounds like that or she reminds me of who, who or very familiar of. You know, all those uh, types of uh, gender of words are from right out the window. This is totally pure her. And it is, and this is, uh, this is from my perspective. I'm not saying that in other songs she doesn't, she doesn't bring her own identity into the songs. I'm just saying that this is the first time where I have maybe scrutinised I look kind of done my a deep due diligence in what I am looking at and discovering for the first time of, oh, wow, this is Vanny. 
So it's took me a while. I mean, don't get me wrong. I do identify certain uh, Vanny's, uh, Vanny's um, uh, um, talents in their songs. But I, I think this is the first time that I've sort of like properly opened my eyes and to identify, oh, look, that's Vanny. <laughs> Does that make sense to you? Sometimes there is so many kind of um, screens that's put in our faces that blinds us. And we've got to peel away all these layers to identify certain things that we need in our own life. And like I said, it was so much of a Celine Dion in my face, in the, my face every time when she was doing a Celine Dion cover. So when she comes to doing a non-Celine Dion cover, it was like, I'm still in there. And it took me a while to get away from it. But I'm glad she's done something of another artist. I'm not saying that she only sticks on Celine, um, Celine Dion. She does other artist covers as well as... Look, go into her channel. I'll leave all the details down below for you to check it out. But she she is an amazing artist. She really has. And she's just done another a song and upload. Um, actually, I'll, let me just let you know right, what it is right now. Let me just go on to it. Um, the latest song that she's put on there, um, which is three hours ago, and by the time I put it on this tomorrow, uh, actually, she's done... Uh, She's done about, say, four songs in a matter of a month. So, um, You're Still the One in My Life was uploaded um, within 24 hours ago. Uh, one was in a week ago, which was um, It Must Have Been Love by Roxy Cover by Vanny. And the other one was Crazy uh, with um, Julio Iglesias. Um, and that was about, say, three weeks ago. So, there is a lot of things that she's doing. And that's, I'm going to check out um, um, Julio Iglesias, actually. Um, I don't think that I have reacted to her doing a male song. So, that really, really quite interesting. But look, she's only got 344 videos. And through that, she's accumulated 2.1 million views. I mean, I mean, subscribers, not views. Subscribers. That is like... Amazing, amazing. I would love to have that amount of subscribers on my channel. Oh my gosh. I would dedicate my channel to her if she, if she provides me with that amount of subscribers for my channel. So look, I can't wait to react to some more. I, indeed, I will do. Uh, it'd be amazing to um, listen and read your comments uh, based upon the trap that I've just reacted to. Um, and let me know a little bit more about her as well, if you do. Um, I would like to see a collaboration if I'm like... I've seen many, many collaborations. Let's see um, Ladora and um, Putriani. And they're bouncing around everywhere, everywhere. But where's Vanny in all this? Let me know. Has she done the collaboration? Who has she done the collaboration with? That's all I need to know. Until next time. I salute you.